So do you really need that $100 productivity mouse? Well, firstly, not everyone uses their PC in the exact same way. So just because your favorite YouTuber has massively increased their efficiency by buying the newest productivity mouse doesn't necessarily mean it will benefit you in the same way. To help you answer that question, I'm going to break this video down into some typical mouse user cases. You know, maybe you're a student who spends a lot of time writing essays, or maybe you're a working professional who lives on Excel spreadsheets. Another quick point, I will be comparing Logitech's popular Master MX2S to a more generic style mouse by Cinda, which actually also comes highly rated on Amazon. Now, with all that being said, let's just jump straight in. The average PC user and student category. The first major reason for sticking to a simple mouse is the price. Now, of course, this point applies to everyone who's in the market for a new mouse, but this user literally just wants a mouse to click and point at things. And there's just no point spending triple the amount of money if you aren't going to fully utilize, you know, the extra functionality that comes with a more expensive device. And price isn't the only thing a simple mouse has over a productivity one. The upside to having fewer buttons and less functionality is a lighter, sleeker design. This makes moving from classes to libraries to cafes a whole lot easier as you can just drop this thing in a pocket and you're good to go. This lighter design and cheaper price also means you're less likely to be worried about this thing knocking around in your backpack, which is another nice bonus. However, there are some perks to having a more premium mouse. Directly comparing these two mice, there's a contrast in the quality of materials used. While this Cinder mouse is made almost entirely of plain plastic, Logitech's features a rubberized grip, interesting geometric designs and a sturdy metal mouse wheel. Now of course not all productivity mice are built to the same standard as Logitech's MX Master series but for the higher price you'll tend to pay for productivity mice you can generally expect to see better quality products. Another benefit to spending more on a productivity mouse is the ability to work on a wider range of surfaces. I know that I can use my Logitech mouse anywhere on pretty much any surface while the responsiveness of this Cinder mouse can depend on the type of tabletop I'm working on. Now I know I'm being kind of unfair here with these last two points which relate more to the benefits of spending more money on a premium mouse versus a cheaper one but in general if you're thinking about spending more on a productivity mouse versus saving some extra cash by buying a cheaper one, these are the types of differences you'll tend to see. For gaming, the productivity mouse is likely to be your better option. The extra customizable buttons found on productivity mice can be really useful depending on the game you're playing. For FPS players, you might use the mappable buttons to cycle through your weapons, or if you're a MOBA fan, you might benefit from being able to access the map or shop without moving your hand across the keyboard. Either way, the productivity mouse does have a one-up on the simple one on this one. The bonus perks that comes with the customizability of a productivity mouse doesn't stop there. If your mouse comes with its own dedicated software, like this one from Logitech, you can also customize the mouse sensitivity or DPI, which can be essential for higher levels of FPS play. Do note though that you are much better off getting a dedicated gaming mouse over a productivity one. For a similar price, you'll have access to weight customizations, a wider range of ambidextrous designs, and RGB lighting. To be honest, if you are a working professional who cares about efficiency, you should just get a productivity mouse. If you spend a lot of time working on things like Excel spreadsheets, this horizontal scrolling wheel is so useful and allows you to navigate spreadsheets with ease. Logitech's master series also features a hyper fast scrolling mode, which lets you scroll to the bottom of larger data sets a lot faster than a traditional mouse would. This kind of user could also make some great use out of the extra customizable buttons. If your work involves any repetitive functions such as manually copying and pasting of information Information, mapping these shortcuts to your mouse can actually really improve your efficiency. On the flip side, similarly to the student, if you find yourself traveling a fair bit, whether it be to the office or to various client sites, you may actually just appreciate a smaller, simpler mouse that you can throw into a backpack. Another benefit to this simple mouse, and I'm not sure if it's just me here, is that they just feel a lot more discreet and they just feel like they take up a lot less space on your desk. When you're working in co-working spaces, particularly on client site, sometimes it can feel a bit awkward taking your whole productivity setup with you. Overall though, as someone who does have a typical nine to five kind of job, I would thoroughly recommend a productivity mouse if this does sound like you. Probably the most popular use case for a productivity mouse and for good reason. Aside from all the previously mentioned benefits, I think creatives can really take advantage of the ability to customize how this mouse works. This particular model allows you to map extra function buttons to different shortcuts and tools, depending on what software you're using. This means that you can customize your mouse to work in a particular way when you're in Photoshop and have it automatically work with different mapping when you open up Premiere Pro. Now, of course, all creative software come with keyboard shortcuts, which you can learn, but having the extra mappable buttons on a mouse makes it a lot more beginner friendly. And to be honest, sometimes it's easier 
to just have your most used tools readily accessible on your mouse so you don't have to worry about moving your hand on the keyboard at all. In summary, before buying your next mouse, be honest with yourself. Are you really going to make use of the extra functionality and customizability that comes with a more expensive mouse? And for most people, I think the answer to that is no, to be honest. If you've got some spare cash, you're probably better off saving a few extra dollars and sticking to a simple wireless mouse. Cool, I think that's it for this one. Catch you in the next one.